everybody. This is Alan Weinkrantz from ISA.com. I'm here with Philip Nelson from New Tech in San Antonio. Alan, it's great to be here with you. Ready to have some fun. Yeah, no kidding. But you've been to France doing what? You just landed from France, Switzerland. You've been all over the place. What have you been doing? Well, we've been working with ESPN and the ESPN X Games team to do the world's first Winter X Games Europe. And so the TriCaster was powering all the video and all the shows for all the video screens in the venues. And so we left there, we flew straight from Switzerland to uh, Austin, Texas, and we're here for South by Southwest, ready to have some fun. And what? Wait, wait. I, I thought you need like, where's the, the big production truck, the uh, $20 million, uh, I, I, did you leave the production truck back at home or in Europe? You know, the concept of TriCaster is portable live production. So we wanted to show people with the Mini Cooper that live TV doesn't have to be a 50 foot truck. High definition live television in this Mini Cooper, we have live video switching, graphics, video playback, streaming, and we still have room to see four people in the Mini Cooper. And best of all, you get good gas mileage. Very good gas mileage. And parking the truck is very fast. And parking the truck and plus the talent. So we're gonna okay, so we we go ESPN. So then let's kind of break things down. All of a sudden we've got a company like Rack Games doing this amazing party. Yet they can broadcast HD quality content. One of the, we're actually going to be doing a live webcast of a uh, product launch from Rackspace tonight, and uh, we're going to be streaming it live to the web. But our concept in portable live production is that there are events that go on all over the world every day that have a, an audience that want to see it. And so in, in the traditional equipment, it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars for the equipment. But we wanted to allow shows that might have a couple of thousand dollars budget to now be made. And not only the show to be made and look like television, but it's also be easy enough to do that anyone can do a live webcast or a live broadcast or broadcast. You know, I also think we're also at the point that we're at an inflection point. I think the iPad, my own personal take, is the iPad is our next television receiver. You guys are really the broadcast mediums to get us there. Um, kind of your take on this, the impact of, of the tablet, not just as a reader, but really is, is, is the next, I, I feel like myself, think back to the mid-50s when I was watching, I was a little kid, or early 60s, I remember going to my grandmother's house watching Bonanza in color. But what I'm seeing here now is sort of that next evolution in broadcasting. Kind of, you're really empowering broadcasters to really a high, high quality, very reasonable price platform, put it on, on, a, on a platform like yours, reach out to the world, become your own channel. In the early, in the late 80s, um, the owner of New Tech was quoted saying, in the next 20 years, your favorite television show will be made by you or someone you know. And in the early 90s, New Tech started the desktop video revolution and allowed anyone to make TV for the first time. But in the early 90s, there was still a gatekeeper. And that was someone with a television transmitter or a cable network. So fast forward to, you know, the year 2000, streaming video is now available. And with power of the TriCaster, with broadband being everywhere, now truly anyone can be a broadcaster because there's no more gatekeeper. And the cost of doing live television has dropped so low that you don't have to reach millions of viewers for it to be a possible project. You can reach, in some cases, hundreds of viewers to have a show that's worthwhile and sponsor worthy. Now another concept that we feel is very important and why TriCaster is having such success, and some people even call in their shows, they're TriCasting a show. Yeah. Because a webcast has a connotation of being low end. For most people that do webcasting, they think of a dorm room video on YouTube right. of some drunk kids playing pranks on each other. But what a TriCast is, is a webcast that looks like TV. So when you have a message that's important, you don't want to detract from that message by having low production quality. And so with the TriCaster, now we can make it look like it is equal to broadcast television. Because this technology is being used by broadcasters, it's being used by the NBA, it's being used by the Miss Universe pageant, by ESPN X Games. But that same TriCaster is also being used by fifth graders in Las Vegas to do a daily newscast. So not only is it powerful enough for the big guys, it's affordable enough and easy enough to use so that little kids can become television producers. Very cool. Okay, so this is Alan Weinkrantz from ISA.com.